All right, guys, J. Broader Performance here. Uh, just going to do a quick one. Uh, I got a C6 on the dyno here. Uh, shifted once or twice, three times, okay. And now it's stuck in third. The um, reason I know it's stuck in third is when you manually downshift to second and first, you can, you know, you can feel it downshift. Uh, so I know the governor's stuck. Uh, you know, it technically, I guess, could shift valves could do this to you, but typically on these, at this point in time, governors are just a problem for me. And I've already had this governor off once, and the valves work great on the bench and everything, nice and free, and it's clean and all that nonsense, but... When you get it in here and it's spinning, you know, you have radial forces on the valves. And that's something you really don't simulate well on the bench, so they just kind of get stuck when they spin, you know, when the when the assembly is spinning like this, uh, that you really can't do on the bench, so it tricks you. And, you know, experience with this... I've done this till I'm blue in the face, you know, clean the valves, polish the valves, uh, brush the bores, uh, even try to put little chamfers on the valves, and all these little things I've tried never seem to work. Typically what I do is just throw the damn governor in the trash if it's giving you trouble like this. And, you know, to my knowledge, they don't make a new governor for these. Maybe you get lucky, get an NOS one or something somewhere but uh, we're stuck with old ones and this is pretty common where they just you know they just give me trouble so what I want to show you is one of the first things you can do when you pull the extension housing off if you look at this this is the primary valve which is the large one it has a snap ring I'm lightly pushing on this I can feel that the valve is right there. Um, like, here's another one that I'm going to replace this governor with. And you can see how this pushes in. You know, there's a spring behind it, and then a valve behind that. And you can just see I'm pushing on it. And this cover plate very easily just, you know, shows a gap there. On this one... I'm pushing on it, but the valve is actually stuck up against it. And I'm going to push there. I'm going to push harder. And now you can see, now you can see this happening. But this primary valve was stuck outward. So that's just a little check you can do. If you can get your extension housing off quick enough before the, before the trans cools off, a lot of times... You can verify what's going on just there. Now, you have a secondary valve that can stick also, but this is just real easy to check. So, that's just a simple check. Uh, so, hang on. I'll, I'll pull this governor off. We'll see if we can see the secondary valve stuck or not. Uh, it may not be. So, hang on one second. Okay, cool. Sometimes a demonstration works out. I don't know if you can see. Let me... Be very careful with it, too. I don't know if you can see. Uh, let me get something to point with. Uh, hang on one second. I'll, I'll be back again. Okay, it's just slightly stuck, but I apologize if you can't see this. But if you look in this window, the end of the valve should be right up against the casting, and it's not. It's just a hair off. And here's another governor that I'm going to replace it with. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look here, that valve is right up against the casting here. You can kind of maybe look at this distance in this window. And notice that that distance is a little smaller. Um, it's a little hard to see. Let me... I'm going to try to just... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can see this or not. I can't really see it well through the camera, but... Anyways, you can see the secondary is slightly stuck open, too. Uh, so... 
my advice so we verified the governor is stuck and that's why you know I'm sometimes this was it would downshift to second but not to first uh, but you know right now as I ran the trans more and it got warmer it was just stuck in third all the time it started off okay I got probably two or three shifts out of it shifts didn't really seem crisp uh, I felt like something was a little off I wasn't sure what and then I noticed we weren't downshifting anymore so uh, so that's it so I'm gonna replace the governor you know like it's it's very tempting like if you look at this you know this feels nice and free and returns really easy and it's tempting to just say oh must have been just a little piece of trash I'll I'll wash everything and put it back in real tempting to do that um, and I've already had this off once and have done that you know just so you know but I, I did already try it um, and it just it, it's like the more I mess with it the worse it gets so um, so here watch this is a trash can there's my governor I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it there. I'm going to round file that. So that's what you do. I've got another governor here. And better luck next time. You know, we'll see how this one works out. But I just wanted to share that little tip with you. Um, I'm not going to bother making you watch it work and all that. Uh, th this governor could be bad too, you know. I could keep going through this all day. I've had units that I've built where... Oh, God, I've had three governors on them before one worked, you know. it's uh, These things are getting old, guys, and this stuff happens more and more. So, uh, especially with the governors. C4s, too, that's the same scenario. Had a lot of trouble with the C4s. Uh, you can see that, you know, on this one here, you know, you have to push on that washer. You can't see the valve. You know, unless you're, you know, unless you have it off, you look here, but the C4, you can actually see the valve because it's designed a little different. You'll see the valve is visibly stuck, uh, which is even more convenient, but just do that little test where you just, just ever so slightly push on it, and if you don't feel, you know, if you feel it's kind of solid, you know the valve is sitting right there. So just go ahead and give it one big push, and then see if it's... You know, you'll, you'll feel the difference. It's um, hard to know what I'm talking about until you experience it, but uh, just an easy check, you know. So, all right, guys. I hope that helped, and um, thanks for watching and supporting the channel.